What is up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how we can use the secure store to successfully save some key value pairs to our device so that the user can use them again later in case they want to save some very primitive data. So I went ahead and created an example app and here we need to insert a key so we can say something such as user password and they can just go ahead and say apple123 exclamation marks to make it super secure. Now if we go ahead and use this key, which of course you can use in your program later, we can type in user password and as soon as we tap enter, it's going to retrieve the value that's associated with it and give it back to us. Even if we reload this app, let's go ahead and do that, we're still going to have that value pair in the program. So if we go ahead and type in user password and click on enter, we're going to get the user password once again. We can also say code palace and enter a value, which is going to be best channel ever. Click on save. Now, when we go here, we can go ahead and type in code palace, click on enter, and it's going to give us the text that we've saved to our device. And of course, we can also override it by typing in code palace and say one, two, three, four, five, save. Click on enter here, and we're going to get one, two, three, four, five instead. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to create in this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is always is create a new blank expo project just like this one. And we need to open up the terminal because we need to install the package that allows us to use this. So inside our folder, we're going to go ahead and type in expo install expo secure store and click on enter. And as soon as that has installed, we can go ahead and import everything as secure store from expo secure store and click on save and also while we are here we're going to go ahead and import text inputs and a button next inside our terminal we're going to go ahead and start our project so we can see the changes immediately and to do this we'll type in expo start and for me it's going to be localhost and on my Android device. It's going to start this window as always, and then it's going to open up the app on my screen over here. And there we are with the sample template that we always have. Now we can get started with creating the example. So the first thing I want to do is get the styles out of the way. All we have here is one that says main text, and I'm gonna be using this for the text inside the program. It's going to give it some margins such as a margin top of 34, and a margin of 24 plus the font size is going to be slightly bigger font weight is going to be bold and the text align is going to be set to center then this is going to be for the text input box so it's going to have a height of 55 a border color of gray border width of 0.5 padding of 10 a margin of 4 and a border radius of 20. So you're more than welcome to copy that, otherwise you don't need the styles to make this work. But uh, let's continue with the program. So inside our export default function app, we're going to go ahead and first create the states. So we're going to go and type in constant, and here we're going to insert a list, and it's going to be a pair of key and on change key. And that's going to equal react dot use state and initially the value will be set to nothing like that now we can actually copy this two times because we're going to change this to value and on change value and then we want the result which will be on change result and it's initially going to be set to result now let's go ahead and create the functions that can save the key and retrieve the key so these are both going to be async functions which are going to start off with save and it's going to take a key and a value as a argument. Then inside here, we need to create an await and we're going to call secure store dot set item sync. And inside here, we need to insert the key and the value pair. Click on save to make sure we have no exceptions and that will take care of saving the item. Now we can go ahead and also retrieve the values. So async function and we can type in get value for because we want to get a value for the key that we specify. And inside here, we're going to type in let the result equal await and secure store dot get item sync. And we want to get it from the key that we specify. Then if there is a result, we're going to go ahead and change the state of that result to on change result. 
and we're going to insert the result. Else we're going to create an alert that says the key was invalid. So alert invalid key. And those were the only functions you need to use the secure store. Now let's go ahead and create the UI so we can actually do that part as well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and give the container a padding of 10 because I forgot to do that and click on save. Now the first thing we have is our default text which we can just apply the first style which is going to equal styles.maintext and we're just going to say save a key slash value. So now it's going to look like that. It's nice and bold and quite big. Then under that we want to make some text input. So text input and the first thing we want to specify is the style which is going to equal styles.text input. It's going to have a placeholder, which is going to equal enter a key. And then we want to specify what happens when we change the text. So that is going to equal the text that we insert and that's going to call our on change key function. And inside here, we will insert the text and the value is going to be the state of our key. So every time we type a letter, it's going to say, ah, we've added that letter to the box. And then it's going to insert it here because this is attached to the state up here. So that is our first text input. And if we save the program, you're going to notice now we can actually type something inside here like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and copy this text input and place it right under because we have to make some very minor changes. And here we just have to type in enter a value followed by on change value and here we will insert the value next we want to specify the button so we'll go ahead and type in button which is going to first start with a title which is going to be called save then we want to provide an on press method which is going to equal a function and inside here we will type in first what we want to save so we'll type in save key and the value that is currently set there and every time we save, we also want to make sure that the key gets reset to zero so that we can enter a new key immediately after. And the same thing is going to go on change value will also be set to an empty string. And let's make sure to close this button and click on save. And we're also going to remove the align items from the style sheet because I forgot that as well. And we want it to be very large, just like that. Next, we'll go ahead and copy our text from right here and place it right under and we will type in enter your key. And below we have to create another text input with the usual style, styles.textInput. We're going to close it, make some space so we can insert some stuff. And the first thing we want to insert is on submit editing. So this is when the user clicks enter, what do we want to happen? So we'll type in the event that will happen is going to be equal to get value for, and we want to type in event, native event, and we want to get the text from the text box natively. And we are going to provide a placeholder because that helps the users a lot. And it's going to be set to enter a key. And the final step is to place the text immediately under. And all we have to do here is insert the result. So we can see the change as we use it. So now let's go ahead and test this out. We're going to start with entering a key, which we can set it to special key. And we're going to say, this is a saved value and click on save. Now, when we go and type in special key, we're going to get this value retrieved. We can even go to our terminal and reload the app. So everything will be refreshed. And here we can go ahead and type in special key once again. And we're still going to have the saved value because it's going to save the value to the phone so that the user can retrieve it later. Let's also type in something good like hello. And we can say this is hello. Click on save. Go back here type in hello and click on enter. And we're going to get that value retrieved. Also, if we type in number and we just do one, two, three, four, five, we can go ahead and type in number. But of course we need to click on save and we will get one, two, three, four, five. But what happens if we write something that is not recognized by the key? Well, once we click on enter, it's going to tell us we entered something that isn't there. So we will have this alert that says invalid key. 
But with that being said guys, that's actually all you need to know about using this secure store for now. It's a very simple way to store key value pairs and it's very easy to use. As you saw, it actually only took these two functions to use it easily. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.